Thank you for joining me on my channel, you lovely calisthenics and kettlebells people. I love calisthenics and kettlebells. I hope after watching this, you will love calisthenics and kettlebells just as much as I do. So join me, we're gonna take a deep dive into this world, and together, we are gonna to learn to master the techniques of kettlebells and calisthenics. You know, getting old sucks. Now when it comes to working out, I'm not so much concerned about how much I can deadlift. I'm more concerned about why my shoulders hurt in the morning. So I'm looking for ways to maintain my strength edge, but to also add mobility into the mix. And that's where kettlebells and calisthenics comes into play. Here are five excellent kettlebell and calisthenics exercises you could start to incorporate into your own workouts. Number one, the windmill press. The windmill is a great exercise. Not only are you gonna work your rotator cuff, but you're also gonna work core, and you're gonna work through your hips. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna rack our kettlebell, and we wanna get into a nice wide stance. All right, my kettlebell is racked on my, on my left side. I'm gonna turn my right toe out. My left toe is gonna be facing straight ahead. From here, I'm just gonna push off the legs. I'm gonna get an extension here. Boom, make sure that my biceps are tracking along my ears. I'm in this nice tall position. First thing I wanna do is I wanna shift my hip over to the loaded side's leg. And then from there, looking up, I'm gonna to continue to push my hip as I tip to the side. This free hand here, this is gonna come down, and once I can touch the floor, boom, bring it back up, square up at the top, and repeat. So we're pushing down, working through those hips, working through our shoulder. Now, if you wanna modify this, make it a little bit easier, Lighter kettlebell is always the first place to go. Then you can start to bend this knee. So the foot that has turned out, you can bend into this knee as you're descending. So you can ease up a little bit on the load there. Number two, the front swing or lateral swing. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cast the kettlebell out. And all that means is you're gonna do a little push off and you're gonna reach the kettlebell away from you. And then as you do, that kettlebell is gonna do this natural swing, swing right down the front of the body. So you wanna push back into your hips, bend your knees, and just let that swing happen, that natural swing, that pendulum swing, come back up, clean it up back up to the top position, and repeat. Number three, the figure eight. One of my faves. So we wanna get up into our rack position here. And remember, your elbows in, fist under the chin. We're gonna cast out in front and then we're gonna let it swing in between the legs. Now, I got this free hand. I'm gonna swing in between my legs and I'm gonna catch it with this free hand, right? And as I do, I'm gonna clean it back up to the top position, but in the other hand. Boom, now, I like to catch in this what's called a waiter's rack. It's an easier way to catch it. And then from there, you're free to swing into the other hand, boom, and now, you got this really cool swing and clean all happening at the same time. Again, you have core number four, the planche lean. All right, so we wanna turn the fingertips out, thumbs are working straight up, and now what we wanna do is we wanna press out our shoulder blades, right? We wanna protract the shoulder blades and pushing up through the middle of the back. All right, and then we wanna lean forward. So once we get up into our plank, our arms are straight, our shoulder blades are open, we wanna to begin to lean forward tucking your tailbone and pushing up through the middle of the back. You'll really start to feel your core working. you really start to feel your shoulders working. And just when you feel that trembling happen, that's when you push back into your hips without touching your knees to the floor and then continue to press forward, pushing up through the middle of the back. Every time you press forward, try to challenge the threshold of how far you can lean while keeping your arms straight and your shoulder blades pushed out. And number five, the skater squat. Kettlebells are nice. Hi guys. I balance on one leg, and we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this opposite leg, it's off the grade, we're just gonna bend the knee and reach the heel up toward the glute. From here, I wanna lean forward as I bend this knee and reach in this knee down to the floor. Get it as low as I can and then drive it back up, okay? We wanna fight that descent and we wanna come up with power in the, when, we're, when we're coming out of it. So we wanna fight that eccentric contraction, booming and come up with power, come up nice and strong at the top. So we wanna fight it on the way down, fight it for control, try to get that knee to tap the floor and then drive it straight up. This is an excellent single leg exercise. You're gonna work balance and you're gonna work strength. 
But you're probably thinking to yourself, Michael, that's, in, that's crazy. That's like right out of the gate. Don't you have anything else beside that? Sure. What you can do are split squats instead, and this will help work you up to getting used to your skater squat. And split squat is just basically, you're in a split squat stance, and we want the feet wide enough to where you could bend both knees to 90 degrees. And you want to tap the back knee to the floor and then back up. And as you do, start thinking of getting your weight forward over top of this front leg and start thinking about evening out the distribution of weight between the midline of the leg. And then you can start picking that back foot up off the ground, going down, driving up off the ground with that back foot off the ground. And then eventually you should get to the point where you could just drop down and rate back up. All right, skater squats, try them, they're great. And there you have it, five exercises that you can start to incorporate into your workout right away. And remember, if any of these exercises are new to you, um, be sure to start off with lightweight and then progress your way up. And same with the calisthenics exercises, you know, start with the easy way and then start to slowly progress your way into it. Come back here, join me for more exciting work coming soon, exciting exercises and techniques, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It's awesome when you do that. All right.